All right, so we're going to do a little update here. It's uh, a couple days since I took the last video. Uh, we got the axle mounted now. As you can see, reinforced. We got some two-inch square tubing welded the axle, and the metal of the actual frame is quite a bit thinner than the metal of the of the, uh, the square tubing. So we put a couple pieces of flat bar, welded it to the frame as well, both sides. So that's done. Next step is uh, we've got these little one inch square tubes down here. So these are going to be support brackets and go like that and go up to the frame like so. And that's just to prevent twist, a little bit more strength. So here we got the tires just laid out for looks. So you can see there's eight tires. They're uh, 12, uh, 16 inches each tire. So every two tires is going to have a walking beam. So in between each tire, of course, there'll be a mount point to a fixed fixed member. And uh, you can see the back one here will have a little bit of distance behind the center of gravity of the or center of the mount point of the wheel. This is a little bit further behind. And the same concept at the front, where the front tire was right there, the center point for the walking beam will be somewhere about here. So should have the same kind of balance front and back, or at least as good as the front and back. Um, so there's eight tires, there'll be a total of four walking beams. The walking beams, um, we do know that there's going to be a bit of an issue in that the walking beams, when you go over bumps and stuff, um, only kind of two of them will, will be in service at a time, so to speak, but uh, we thought about adding in um, a double walking beam suspension where this walking beam and that walking beam were then connected to a walking beam across all four but that would move this the mount point to between the two here and as well over to here so that leaves the center of gravity front and back a little bit narrower than the original so we're a little concerned with doing that so we decided we'll just for this test run we'll mount it just fixed um, each tire is rated for 600 pounds, so that means each pair is rated for 1,200 pounds, and uh, front and back, or uh, left and right, the two fronts would then be 2,400, and the rear two would be 2,400, so anytime going over, as long as you've spread the weight over two mounting points, it'll be um, 4,800 pound rated, so which the vehicle was 3,600 stock. Uh, with what we've ripped off of it, it's probably a lot, a fair bit lighter. But the um, it still may be an issue without some kind of double walking beam, simply because you can be at points where you'll pivot on just two sets, like one set of walking beams on the left and one set on the right, and then of course that might be too much for the for the for the tires and could uh, cause problems. But worst case, we'll switch to a double walking beam. But for now, we're just going to get this working, and then uh, maybe once this is all done, we'll change it out to the double walking beam if we end up having trouble with it. So, yeah, that's the plan. So today we're going to get working on the sprocket for the drive end there. Get that built up on the one side. Start working on the walking beam and tracks. Uh, I'm going to set up so that the kids can do all the drilling for the rubber and the metal pieces. I'll uh, we'll check you later.